Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind the Country Chic Cottage. So I get asked all the time, where do I find my sublimation designs to print? So I thought I would do a video all about what you can print with your sublimation printer. So first things first, you can really print any image or picture with your sublimation printer. So it can be JPEG format, that's JPG, or PNG format, that's PNG. So either format actually works. And like if you have an image on say your phone that you took of your children, you could print that on your sublimation printer. And technically you want any images to be 300 DPI. So that is the resolution that you want the pictures to be at. But don't get caught up in that number at all. So most modern day cameras take pictures at resolution that is fine for printing on your sublimation printer. So you don't necessarily have to worry about that number at all snap away pictures of your kids with your phone, print them on your sublimation printer, like it is going to be fine. But if you're using like pictures that you might've taken in the past, you might find some of the quality diminished because of that resolution requirement. Now, I've sublimated those, however. So I have some really old pictures and I did scanned copies of those and the resolution wasn't great but it gave me like that really old sepia tone to my project and I actually liked it anyway. If the photo isn't at the resolution you want, don't get completely hung up on that. Maybe just print it, try it on a cheap blank or a roll of 100% polyester fabric, something like that. And I think you might find that you kind of like the look of that anyway for those older photographs, so it might just work for you. But if you're looking for other images and designs, I have five places where I tend to get those. Let's run down the top five places where I find images for my sublimation projects. The first one is design bundles, and I will link to all five of these in the description below the video. To get to that, click show more if you're on computer. If you're on mobile, click the arrow button on the video to expand the description, or you might have to swipe up on the video depending on how you're watching. So like I said, the first one is design bundles. Tons of great options for sublimation designs, and the top thing I like about them is they have a really great freebie section. So you might just find something in the freebie section that you like for your sublimation project. The second one is Creative Fabrica for all of those same reasons. So huge library of designs, which is wonderful. And again, they have a really large freebie area. So it's a really great place to find some of those freebies for your sublimation projects. Number three is So Fancy. They have tons of different SVG files, of course, but also sublimation designs, if you did not know that. My number four place I always turn to is Etsy. Now, of course, those would all be purchase designs, but I tend to find a wide variety of designs there. Plus, I get to support a small business, so it's kind of a win-win for me. So I usually turn to Etsy for sublimation prints if I just can't find them other places. And finally, number five is the Hungry JPEG. So it's another really great site for finding those images for your projects. Now they do have a freebie area, it's not as large as like design bundles or creative fabrica, but you can definitely maybe surf around there and find some freebies as well. But they have a ton, really a ton of great designs and bundles that you can check out for your sublimation projects. So I hope this helps you find all of those sublimation designs and get started creating with your sublimation printer, whether you just got it and are just getting started with sublimation or you've been doing sublimation for a while, maybe this will give you some ideas for places to get new designs and start making all those things because there are so many sublimation blanks on the market. You're going to need plenty of designs to go with those. So thank you all so much for joining me. If this video helped you, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about anything we've covered today, drop down in the comment section, ask away. If you haven't already, hit subscribe on our YouTube channel. We have videos like this every week. And trust me, you don't want to miss any of those. So thank you all so much for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.